everyone, it's Krista and welcome back to my world. So I wanted to do a really quick review for you on my SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 UVA UVB Protective Fluid to Enhance Natural Skin Tone. It is water resistant for up to 40 minutes, paraben free, chemical filter free, and a universal tint. Now this is a lot like a tinted moisturizer in color terms only. Um, it's not moisturizing whatsoever, but it doesn't take anything away and I absolutely adore this for my primer. I have since quit um, using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, which um, did a pretty good job of holding my T-zone, but I actually think this works better and one less step. So love that that I can get sunscreen and primer in one. Now what the big huge props to this product is, is I do not like my makeup without this as my primer. It is so amazing and I will show you it does have a tint. Um, it sort of appears white here, but you just rub it in and it immediately soaks right in. Uh, it doesn't have a sunscreen scent to it at all. Unlike the Kiehl's, which is what I was using before, the Super UV Fluid Defense, which I do think is a really good sunscreen, but um, I also had to use a primer with that. Um, but the SkinCeuticals is just wonderful. It almost has a matte feeling to it, but not quite, but really once it's on the skin and it's absorbed, um, you don't feel it at all. And a lot of times I don't even let it dry. I just immediately start putting my foundation on. I... What I love about this is like the SkinCeuticals, I would not put on my actual eyelid. This I put on my eyelid, I put it on my lips, and um, it does have a, you have to have a very sensitive nose to smell it, but it almost just, I mean, and it's barely, barely detectable, and once it's on the skin, you don't smell it at all, but it does kind of have that tinge of Band-Aid smell, so a little medicinal. But nothing that, I mean, most people I don't even think will smell this. Um, this has changed my sunscreen life. Now, if I was going to go to just go to town and I knew I was going to be outside for any length of time or necessarily during peak hours, I would skip the keels just because it was sort of a pain in the butt to have that extra step. And at the end of the day with this, I really felt like I needed to get my makeup off. It sort of just kind of had, not that not that my makeup ever gets cakey, but you know that feeling where it's just like it's heavy and it's hanging on your face, even though throughout the day it didn't have that feeling. At the very end of the day, it was like my skin was just tired of it and wanted it off. But with this, um, from the minute I put it on in the morning um, until I take it off at night, it feels the same. It doesn't change the consistency of my makeup at all. Um, it really just sort of works in the background and like I said, as a primer, it is just phenomenal. Now the active ingredients are titanium dioxide, which are 6%, and zinc oxide. Um, there has been absolutely in photos, which I've taken with flash, no flashback. Now when you first put it on, um, it does even out the skin tone, and if I have a few blemishes, I'll touch those up, and a lot of times if I'm not going anywhere during the day now, I don't feel like that I need foundation or um, if I'm going to run up to the Sonic that's about three miles from here and uh, get an iced tea. Um, I'll just put some mascara on. I don't feel bad going out with this. Now obviously it's not going to cover like hyperpigmentation or your freckles or any of that. Um, it really does let your skin shine through. However, it does really even out your skin tone. So if you're somebody who doesn't have sun damage, um, I highly recommend this as a preventative. It does last all day. I haven't had any issues with it sweating off. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys about that. But if you have questions, uh, leave those below and I will certainly answer those for you. Um, I will tell you that SkinCeuticals does have a variety of sunscreens. So if you're not interested in one that is tinted, they do have one that the zinc oxide is clear. Um, so it doesn't have that white cast or flashback, or if you want one that's sunscreen and moisturizer together, they do have one of those. Um, I will link to SkinCeuticals website below. I would say that the one drawback to this is you have to go to a doctor's office that carries the line or like a Medi Spa, which is what I did. Um, I went to, um, I just looked up on SkinCeuticals website who carries it in my area and popped into one that I know is super, super reputable. Not that I would be worried about a doctor's office being disreputable, um, but 
I just happened to beeline there as I didoed onto my way of where I was going that day. So anyway, um, yeah, I am just so impressed with this and it, this is a good product, but this hands down, like I can't live without it. Um, I feel naked if I don't have it on. So with that being said, that is my review of the SkinCeuticals uh, Physical Fusion SPF with Tent. So um, comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks. Bye-bye.